lifting it, it feels like the, the weight of it is balanced all over. Uh, having problem with old mouses, the, 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 the mass is all, all central, but here it feels uh, yeah, like a natural thing actually. Uh, it feels good and uh, simple, not heavy, but not too, not too light either. It's, a good, it's, it's uh, perfect, I would say. I guess the initial thing that I like the most is the shape because you don't really have much crazy grooves that you need to um, essentially use a specific hand grip. It fits my hand uh, perfect actually. It, and I know it sounds uh, cliche to say that, but uh, for me it uh, has a great uh, shape. The palm comes down perfect for me with the palm coming down, my fingers perfect coming down on the mouse button. So it's a good feeling. I enjoy the fact that it just creased right to my hand and really well bit mouse. You could you can tell that there's a lot of effort put into this. Not that big of an adaption from your old mouse. You're going to be able to set it up as close as possible. So the change isn't going to be that hard. It still feel exactly like you can be smooth. Like it doesn't feel like it's very hard to move the mouse. But at the same time, like it stops exactly where you want it to. I need a light one because I usually spin around as a terrorist. When I jump up, I play much more aggressive as a terrorist. So I jump up and I spin around a lot. And I can't spin around with a heavy mouse, so I need really I really don't like when there's like weight leaning the mouse to one direction. I notice his eye has a really nice center of gravity. I can move it around really nicely on my, my whip shots are really comfortable. And that's something I really look for in a mouse, that it doesn't feel too lightweight, but at the same time doesn't have a weird center of gravity. It's like really easy to control a small mouse, even though I have pretty big hands. I use a grip with two fingers, like this, and uh, I don't know. I, I tend to, to, the big mouse for me is it's really hard to control. Seize is a lot about small, accurate movements, I think. I don't even feel the mouse like, I don't even feel the weight of it, so it's perfect. Uh, I never want to, I haven't really thought about the weight of mouse that, mu that much, but for me it's perfect, it's light, it's really light. And it feels very natural feeling and uh, I don't think you will like, have any problem with hand sweat or something, because it feels, the material which is used is very good and you're playing for hours and hours, which is, this had been a problem in the past. But I think this won't have that problem and uh, the buttons feel steady, feel very robust. Feels like I've been playing with it, this mouse for like six months already. <laughs> feels great. It's like a totally new mouse for me, but it's so close to my old mouse, so it's great. I really just set my hand down, really comfortable, doesn't force my fingers in any direction allows me to basically just set my hand down on the mouse and feel like I've been warmed up to it. I like it when at the bottom there are like uh, glides like this which take a long time to wear out and, uh, and there's like no glue involved so it's very easy to keep clean. Uh, there's no glue there so there won't be like dust clinging to all the glides. I don't like to paste glides onto my mouse or like being forced to do that. Super light. It just glides. It's, uh... It's actually better than I've, I don't think I've ever felt that this glide generally without mouse skates and as well since this is good material but it's just awesome. The glide is really good, you don't even feel the mouse. I, at first when I got the mouse I was kind of skeptical because it's a laser mouse but that, that my skepticism comes from the fact that the laser technology has always been a little bit sketchy and uh, it's basically needed a lot of work just like the LCDs needed work uh, when you compare them to CRTs and to me I'm just a big fan of any optical mouse just because of the, the actual feel of the mouse but the fact that this laser mouse has or this the, the laser traction has been there's a lot of work that's been put into it and the technology of it um, basically allows for an even smoother feel than optical which is something that I was quite surprised in feeling there's a lot of ex ex extreme precision that you can have with the with the mouse and you don't and every every turn and every flick is well defined I do feel precise I would probably just uh fine-tune my sensitivity a bit, but this is as close as I've ever gotten with a new mouse to compare to my old one. What's important for me is like that it can be kind of plug-and-play. Just plug it in, all the settings stored on the mouse, and then I have like 10 minutes more to prepare because you know, sometimes tournament organizers are like, okay, you have to start now, you've got 10 minutes and start. Then I like to have my time to actually prepare the game rather than messing about with, the, you know, with, with all the drivers and so on. Usually, when we're in tournaments, we have one USB stick. Everybody wants 500 hertz, so we have to pass around the USB stick. You, al you always have a pretty tight schedule, so uh, I mean, <laughs> you you are.
getting a lot less warm up when, when you have to, to install drivers and stuff like that. Able to have the, the consistent and smooth feel that you've always been looking for in a mouse. And that pretty much comes default without having to install any drivers. And that, all, that also helps a lot because it's default and a lot of players don't really know about um, you know, mouse hurt settings and whatnot, but this mouse basically is an introduction to all those uh, drivers and uh, technologies that a lot of players didn't know about. So hopefully now they're built in so they don't have to worry about researching products or uh, you know, programs. They, it's all built in the mouse. I mean, I'm 24 years old now. I need some extra tool to keep up with the young guys such as Forrest and Get Right, and these youngsters. So changing mouse, getting some new motivation for because it's really good and the technology feels very soft and uh, synchronized with the monitor and the FPS. It's, it's very natural, as, as I said before. I think the fact that this mouse is so advanced is going to be such a good thing for us pro gamers because you're going to be able to set it up at home and, and then it's going to save on the mouse and you're going to have the exact same settings when you get to a tournament and I think that's one of the big things that's gonna, that people are going to like about it. Yeah, I'm really proud of it. I mean, I haven't done anything like this before, so I'm really proud of what I've done. Or, I haven't really done anything, I'm just giving my examples what things are wrong and right, and what is a good shape of it, and probably everyone else will really like it, that's me. The thing is for me, the mouse pretty much is the perfect mouse for me. Uh, as I said earlier, it fits my hand perfectly, the sensor is good, um, the surface is good, the clicks are good. For me, it's a perfect mouse. I know it's bullshit, but it sounds like bullshit, but it actually is for me, so.